Greetings class, this is Professor Brown and this is for homework number four, CIS 4710. Uh, we're working with the brand new Kali Linux uh, build <clears throat> as of now, 2020.1. And uh, offensive security has changed a few things um, from the older versions of Kali. So uh, in my older vi videos, uh, you were allowed to uh, log in as root. Uh, you were able to um, uh, create uh, uh, directories and you were able to pretty much do anything you wanted to with the operating system. Uh, offensive security has changed their base build of Kali Linux to Ubuntu 18.04. And if you are downloading the latest and greatest ISO, you will see that when you go through the installation process, you can select the different types of tools and packages and you know all kinds of good stuff. Uh, it also does not ask you to set a root password. Ubuntu is it's, it's using the original rules that Ubuntu has put forth. It lets you create a user. Uh, and so forth, but it doesn't allow you to create a um, <clears throat> uh, a password. So here's the workaround for that. Uh, I'm gonna log out because I was originally logged in there as root. So I made a user and you need to do this because you need to be root in order to do homework for. And I've changed the uh, comments or the step-by-step -step in homework four to make it a little bit easier to follow along. I know some of you had been requesting that of me. So um, if I open up a terminal, you can see that I am you know, ProBro at Cali Toolbox. I named my host Cali Toolbox. All right. Uh, that's going to be on the prompt. If I do a who am I, you know, there's my username. Okay. Uh, but I want to log in as root. So what you can do is normally if you type in SU, it's going to ask for a password. You didn't set a password, so you type in you know what would what it would normally have been. You get an authentication failure. If you uh, you can do the same thing with SU dash I. All right, but that's not going to allow you to do that. Uh, option either. So here's the workaround for that. If you do the um, sudo password root, and it's going to ask you what your password is, you type in your password. And it asks you for the new password of root. I'm just going to type in tor. Twice. All right. Now, if I type su and it asks me the password, and I type in tor. I am now root. I can also log in directly as root as well. For the purposes of, of this class uh, or this tutorial, I'm just going to stay here in this um, area. So the other thing is I need to quickly find my IP and the IP of my target box, my uh, Metasploitable 2 box. So to do that, what I'm going to do is normally I would do if config, but if config is no longer available in the latest and greatest version. So I have to do the new command, which takes the place of if config, which is IP address show. And if I type in IP address show, there. It will show me the IP addresses of all of my interfaces, all my NICs. So here I see that I have my loopback and my IPv6 address and here is the IP of my box 192.168.10.245. Okay. So I'm on the 192.168.10 network slash 24. I need to find, quickly find my, uh, I need to quickly find my target. 
so I'm just going to do a quick nmap scan. So nmap 192.168.10.128. And I actually need to preempt that with dash, dash little s little p, capital P, because I just want to do a ping sweep of it real fast. There we go. That will tell me my, um, okay, so it looks like 246. I know 254, 245 is me. 254 is going to be towards the top. That's not going to work, but it looks like 246 is a potential target. All right. So in the homework, let me grab the homework and go over this. There it is. So in the homework, what we're basically doing is we've already done a scan of Metasploitable um, in previous works. We know that it has uh, port 445 uh, NFS SMB open. So a lot of older Linux systems have a vulnerability if they are not set up correctly to where you can open up a um, file share and you can dump files to them and even further you can uh, push files of your own making to them in order to gain root access so you can uh, masquerade if you will as root and then log in as root given the file or given the credentials that you provide the system under root it's kind of cool uh, so let's go ahead and go through this so I'm gonna start from here in the steps I'm just gonna move this to my other screen so you can see me do it Oops. and let me just clear this so we start uh, from the top so I'm going to go ahead and create an SSH key. All right. And it's going to say, enter the file in which you want to save the key, which is going to be uh, root SSH IDR say. That's default. So I'm just going to hit enter. Uh, I did this already. So I'm going to hit override. If you try this again, you just hit override. But you shouldn't get that at first. Any of your passphrase or empty for no passphrase. This will work with no passphrase, but I'm going to give it the passphrase Tor, T O O R. It's going to have me enter it twice. All right, and it's giving me my little RSA snippet there, and we're back to the prompt. And from here, uh, you need to look for these two lines. Your identification has been saved in root whack.ssh uh, whack id underscore rsa and your public key is in root whack.ssh whack id underscore rsa dot pub okay gives you your key fingerprint and we're ready to roll so from here um, I'm going to make a few directories and um, copy some stuff so I'm going to again I'm in my own device I'm going to make a directory called temp r00t those are zeros okay and then I'm going to mount um, the I the uh, I'm gonna basically map with NFS that directory to a directory in um, uh, in Metasploitable, so I'm going to type in the mount command dash t space nfs space the IP of Metasploitable two, which was two forty six. Remember from our mmap scan or our ping sweep. All right, colon whack space whack temp whack r 0 t whack so that maps the root directory of metasploitable 2 to our temp root directory okay all right so basically using nfs i have mirrored both of those all right next what i'm going to do is i'm going to cat and or print all 
of the stuff in dot SSH ID underscore RSA dot pub and I'm going to print it that's what the double uh, or copy it the double greater than signs to temp R zero zero T root dot ssh dot up oh, whack authorized underscore keys okay so what this command basically is saying is you're using the catalog command right that and you should be familiar catalog will like print something for you It'll, like push it to the screen all information within the ssh directory and the id underscore r sa uh, good to uh, make sure that you have your syntax correct because if you mess up your syntax it's not going to work rsa.pub that's my public key and I'm going to push my public key my public key to temp root and then under root dot ssh whack authorized keys so basically what I'm doing here is I'm pushing it to my directory which is mounted or mirrored onto Metasploitable. So when I push it to my directory, it's going to automatically copy it to that other directory on Metasploitable. So I'm basically pushing, pushing my public key to Metasploitable 2. All right. Now, once that's done, I'm just going to, I don't have to do this, but I'm going to unmount My directory. If I type in unmount correctly, there we go. And now all I'm going to do is I'm going to SSH to Metasploitable two, and I'm going to log in as root using my credentials that I placed there. So I'm going to try to SSH as root to 192.168.10.246. Now remember, this is my IP of Metasploitable. Not yours, not necessarily yours. Enter the passphrase. Remember, I made it Tor. And now I am logged in as root in Metasploitable. That's the screenshot you got to take. All right paste that into your document and that's what uh, we're looking for for the points for homework four. I know a lot of you were waiting on that and you need a little bit of a explanation to it. It's uh, pretty cool. <clears throat> you typically do not ever see this but in some Linux systems where NFS is uh, open, it's using like version one um, and it's read writable uh, this is a piece of cake. Any hacker can do this and gain access to a uh, Linux system as root just by pushing um, the SSH public key that you create to the um, directory where they exist on the other system via a mount that you create locally on your system. All right, so pretty cool stuff. Uh, look forward to your guys' replies, and it should be uh, a, a cool 20 points that you earn this week, all right? All right, well, take care. This is Professor Brown signing off. Have a good day.